Hey snowflakes and welcome back to another video. Today I chose three designs from this beautiful summary set for you to recreate and yeah, let's go! As per usual, all products I'm using are listed in the info box as well as shown here in the video. We're starting off fairly easy today by just applying this shimmery orange to the lower part of the nail and feathering it upwards. You could apply this color even thinner than I did right here because we're only using this as a color base for our glitter we're going to apply in a second. As usual, please allow your color base some time to set and as soon as it went matte you can go in with the fun part. For this summary design I chose to go with my absolute favorite series from Glitter Bells Remix Glitters, which is the Crush series and the perfect match for the summary set is Hot Crush. Just apply this like the color you did before, um, apply it to the lower part of the nail and slightly feather it upwards. This already looks so nice, don't you think? Um, but if you're like me, then more is ch simply just more. And I chose to apply some extra chunky glitter on top of the already pretty amazing crush glitter. Um, this step is totally up to your personal preference. You don't have to apply this, um, but I thought it looked pretty sick. I know sometimes working with those kinds of very chunky glitter can be a bit tricky but as I've said in the past don't get discouraged and you tell them where to go just place it and play around with it with your brush and shove them where you want them. Allow your glitter some time to set before going in with your cover pink and just apply it at the upper part of the nail and feather it downwards. Depending on the opacity you want to achieve with this design, you could either choose to just leave it like this, like I did, or if you want more opacity, just go in with another bead of cover pink. Here I'm placing another medium bead to the center of the nail and blending it downwards for a bit of a nicer fade from cover blink, cover blink, cover pink to glitter. <laughs> The last step is simply cap and clear for strength and building your structure, especially if you're working on a client. <laughs> we really want our structure because we want strong nails. So don't forget to add your apex in the back third on a client. Um, yeah, and this concludes our very first design of the day. And are you excited for the next one? If you know me, then you know I love some marble nails, so the second design is going to be, of course, a marble design. Here I'm just, as usual, start to double dip my brush into several different colors, picking them up all at once and applying them to the upper part of the nail to create a smooth and nice cuticle area. Thank you. 
and like with any other marble design I'm just going in into my colors applying them pretty wet to the nail without trying to lose control of them so they don't run all over I'm applying them as I've said fairly wet and fairly fast and with my last color I'm don't I'm doing I'm doing <laughs> the marble swoosh And this I'm simply doing over and over again until the entire nail is covered and I'm happy with my design. If you're finished and happy with your marble design, you could either go right ahead and cap your design in clear, or if you're like me and you're just an absolute sparkle lover, you can of course go in with some more of the hot crush glitter for some something extra, because why not? I mean, why not? As usual, my placement is absolutely random and there's no logic at all to it, to be honest. <laughs> it sounds very weird, but that's the truth. And I'm just adding some more hot crush and then I'm going in with some loose glitter, which is called... It's not loose glitter. No, it's not. I'm lying to you. <laughs> it's a pre-mixed acrylic. Um, sorry. It's called Holiday Romance and it's so beautiful because it has little dots and hearts in it. And I just think it's goes very nicely with those orange tones and hot crush. As you've heard, I decided for today to leave in my mistakes I do during my voiceovers. Um, I think it's actually kind of funny, but you guys let me know in the comments if you like that and you think it's funny or if you want more of a super professional, unflawed, perfect voiceover. <laughs> So let's get back to the nail stuff. Um, if you allowed your glitter some time to adhere, you can go in with capping in clear. Did that rhyme? I think that rhymed. Now I wonder if any nail tech on YouTube ever wrapped the voiceover. I mean, imagine it. It would be kind of awesome. When you're finished with your encapsulation, you can move right over to filing and buffing your design. And when you're done with that, we are ready for our third and final design of the day. Third design coming at ya. So we're starting off with just applying the medium shimmery orange to the top of the nail and just feathering it downwards. Similar to the first design we did today, don't worry too much about the blend because this is just acting as a color base for some glitter we're going to apply in a second. Hold 
As soon as you're happy with your color base, you can go in with a medium to large bead of hot crush and apply this right over your color base and just pull it down the nail. Um, how low you want your blend to be is totally up to you. I decided to do about two thirds of the nail, but you can go even lower or higher up, just like you want it. To make this design even more interesting, I've decided to go in with another bead of Holiday Romance with a little hearts and dots in it and just applying some over the blend I've created with the Hot Crush and just pulling it down the nail and letting it fade out at the tip. Also, you can see me here trying to get the heart right side up, but that's totally personal preference. You don't have to do this. As soon as you're happy with the placement and the arrangement of your hearts, leave it some time to set and then you can go in and cap in clear. And with this, all of our three designs are finished and ready to be filed and buffed. This I did as usual off camera and the last step would be just giving our three designs a nice coat of No Wipe Glitter Belt's top coat. Also snowflakes, if you choose to recreate one of those designs, make sure to tag me on them so I can see and share them. Want to see them revealed and all finished? Okay, then let's go. Now here they are. Thank you so much for watching today and please let me know in the comments down below which one of those three summery and tropical designs is your personal favorite. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And yes, snowflakes, that's it for today. Thank you so much again for watching and I see you next time. Bye!